An Einstein ring is a very cool feature of gravitational lensing where a background galaxy gets stretched out into a full ring around the foreground lens. The molten ring is a, a really interesting case where it's one of the largest galaxies that forms a near-complete Einstein ring. The molten ring, you have a very large cluster of galaxies that has magnified this background galaxy. Einstein's theory of general relativity is really sort of what predicted these Einstein rings in the first place. He created this whole machinery for how gravity is supposed to work. Matter would tell space-time how to curve, and space-time would tell matter how to move. And then as you have light moving through this curved space-time, that those equations led to the prediction that this light would almost move on what seems like curved paths and cause the phenomenon of gravitational lensing, which is where this light gets essentially bent and distorted by a foreground lens, like a galaxy cluster, and creates these, these stretched out images that are magnified of these distant galaxies that we see. It's definitely a, a bit of an optical illusion, so if you were to take the uh, gravitational lens completely away, then these background galaxies would just look like you know, the normal everyday galaxies that we see at these distances, uh, and it'd be a lot harder to, to pick apart what's going on in their, their inner workings. So the, the gravitational lensing effect, it is kind of like looking you know, at a funhouse mirror. It, it makes the, the background object appear uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit distorted. You know, just like you go to a, a, a funhouse and you see you know, your head looks gigantic, your body looks tiny. Uh, it's, a, it's a similar effect, but we can use it for science as opposed to just you know, looking at ourselves and saying, oh wow, that's kind of funny. The Hubble Space Telescope has definitely taken the clearest images of the Einstein rings, and they've really you know, verified this part of Einstein's theories of general relativity. They've really you know, shown us a lot more about how gravitational lensing works, and really sort of pushed the limits of what we can learn about these distant galaxies with gravitational lensing.